Okay. Um, I'm Nicole from Impact Communications, a uh, PR company called Lab. So I just wanted to welcome you all and say thank you very much for taking your time out, out of your busy school holidays, school holidays, particularly the mums that are here from school holidays. They go back to school next week, yay! <laughs> um, I want to introduce to you uh, Rebecca. Rebecca owns uh, Food, Wine and Design, and, um, and I'll leave it to Rebecca to show that you know, today is all about having fun. If you want to tweet, the Twitter handle is, I mean, the hashtag for this event is Glad Back to School, and the Instagram um, hashtag is Insta, Insta Glad. So feel free to do that. And I'll leave you with a very capable hand for Rebecca. Thanks, Lou. Um, welcome everyone to um, Food Wine Design. I hope you're, uh, you're ready to make some exciting sandwiches. We've had some great fun working with the Nick and team of Glad uh, coming up with these fun ideas for lunch boxes. Um, being a mother of two, I completely get the um, struggle of um, all the, the devastation when the lunchbox comes home and it's still full of food. So I'm with you in terms of helping you um, have an empty lunchbox for your kids to come from school. Um, what we did as um, part of this masterclass is create some fun little shapes and little characters. Um, and it's really just all about keeping things quite simple because we don't want to be spending four hours getting lunch ready in the morning. Um, some of these things you can even do in the afternoon. So we're going to be doing four, um, we've got five photographs on the table, I'm going to demonstrate four of them, and then I'm hoping that you can have time in the hour to make maybe two of those sandwiches, whichever ones you think are the most exciting. Okay, so what we've got are the firecracker pig wheels, um, which I'm going to do a little demo for you, because that one requires some, some rolling out. These are our icon pads, so um, these are very simple little square sandwiches. Um, this is our Avery Bird and Bert and Elmo, um, so they're, they're pretty cute. But I'm going to start by showing you Angry Birds because I'm sure that's going to be one of the most popular ones. So Angry Birds is very simply um, three slices of bread. So we've got wholemeal and one white. They're the same diameter. I've got some glad paper here on my board which is making my life much easier. Um, you just need to make the, the beak at the bottom of the mouth. So white and brown goes over the top. And I've got a big, big cutter and a slightly small cutter on your table. So the big cutter cut out the outside. Slightly small one is the beef. So just take it through both slices of bread. Okay, so this is our base. Now on top of that, you've got a selection of fillings. Like, um, obviously, you guys can do whatever you like, but we've got classic chicken mayonnaise. Um, I've got a delicious tuna spread here, which is actually sweet with a little bit of tomato ketchup, so the kids should love it. And a beautiful sweet potato and maple syrup and chickpea spread for vegetarians. Um, the parents will love it as well. So whatever filling you'd like to put on. Okay, so on goes Angry Bird's top. Then Angry Bird's beak. So the eyes are simply cheese that we've stamped out with some green beans. Now I've also got on the table some, um, some cream cheese which we use as glue. So just use this to glue it together. Um, on go our Angry Eyebrows which are simply wholemeal crusts. And the beak is one little slice of carrot that's cut in half. Okay, so that's it. And obviously it's filled with your filling of choice and into the lunchbox it can go with its nest of green, green bean sprouts, snow pea sprouts, or even some crispy noodles are fun. Um, so there's our angry bird. That's just a bit nice. <laughs> so, that's a bit of love in that. Yeah, it's, and it's simple. You can see it wasn't hard to make. So the Lego block, again, is really, it needs no explanation. It's simply two slices of bread. Um, with small discs on top that represent the Lego buttons. Okay, this is this is Bert. Now Bert is simply two slices of wholemeal bread. Um, his ears are just white bread that's been stamped out, again with filling of choice. We've got cheese and raisins in this case. We've got some carrot and a little slice of ham. You could use salami. Now his eyebrow is, is some seaweed. Um, we've actually given you some seasoned seaweed actually really love to eat, but I'll just demonstrate with a bit of the nori. Um, so just with the scissors, we're just going to cut out oh, the shape there. That's been my um, stage fright coming in. Okay, and then on goes Bert's, Bert's crown. Oh, so that just needs to be glued on. So when we're doing the, um, the pinwheel, this is the only one that um, requires a little bit more explanation. So we're taking off the crusts. 
Now the pinwheels you can actually make the day before. I've actually got one that I've already put in the fridge. So press off and keep it on the glad paper. It's very, very fresh. So just lay them on top of each other and then roll them very flat. So rolling them together actually um, glues the two pieces together so you've got a bit of canvas. Okay, so whatever filling you want to put on, I'm going to stew some of our sweet potato. So just two slices of other sweet potato. Um, it's not for the kids to make. <laughs> the recipes are all included in, in the kits, but it's roasted sweet potato. Now I've roasted it in a sort of Moroccan style with sugar, lemon juice, salt and a little bit of cumin. Um, you don't have to put the spices in if you don't think the kids will like it. Then uh, roast it in the oven. You can imagine doing this for roasting the night before. I had make enough to make the spread. Um, and then I'll just whisk it up with um, some chickpeas, 10 chickpeas, a little bit of allspice, and a little bit of maple syrup, and a bit more lemon juice. That's all it is. So it's really delicious. So, um, so we just roll up the, the pinwheel, like so. Now grab a little bit of glad bread. And just roll up the little cigar. And twist your edges like so. Okay, now you can pop that in the fridge the night before. So you can make you know, half a dozen of these for lunchbox. And then the next day, I, I, I just made this one down there. It just helps to keep its shape. These are good fun. You obviously can't put a lot of the chunky fillings in this one, but spreads. Um, Sometimes I just want to eat, like, eat, particularly the young ones, want to eat and play. Yeah. And that just seems so much easier than holding a big sandwich as well. Oh, you could just put them in a mashbox like that. So they just have a little sandwich, a little cigar. Or you could make it a bit special. Don't really smoke. No, no, yeah. Um, so you can sit them, you can see, you've got that lovely, there was a colour happening. Um, so there's a little pinwheel. Um, these are really fun for birthday parties. So you can make platters of these. We've actually got some hundreds and thousands down there, so I thought the kids could have a little play with some butter and hundreds and thousands. But there's our little pink pie for the pink mix. Okay, so there's our sandwiches. Now, um, we're, I'm going to come around and help you all and, and talk to you about which sandwich you decided to make. Um, and, and let's have some fun. Okay.